Hello folks, here is your demonstration video. We're going to create a set of working drawings that is going to show the overall assembly, an exploded view with bubbles and parts lists, and then we're going to dimension the first part just if we were to give this to a manufacturer so they could build it. To do this, in the bottom left hand corner, we're going to click the insert new element, and we're going to go to create a drawing. Under on shape, you want to make sure you're in the ANSI A inch DWT. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. This is going to take a second to load as it's going to load a sheet with a lot of information. And then over here on the left hand side here, it says select a part or assembly. If you did it like Mr. Green, where you did all the parts in the same document, then you'll be able to find everything here. If not, you're going to have to go to other documents. Instead of being in Part Studios, we want to first be in Assemblies, and we want to sec select that assembly that we have. We're going to bring it out, and you can see here that by the preview, it is in a front view, which we don't want that orientation. So I'm going to go over to the view orientation, and from front, I'm going to select isometric. Also, you can see the size of the box. Uh, one to four is probably a bit too small. So I'm going to go and change this to 1 to 2. And I'm going to very carefully center it in my drawing so I'm not hitting my borders. And I go ahead and click. And now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go to show shaded view. Now there's a lot of colors to this, so it might take a while, but you can see there that it shows the shaded view. And this is our first sheet that we're just going to say is a full look at our assembly, essentially our project. Now on the left hand side, there's this little button called sheets. We're going to click on that and it's going to expand this window. You can see here that so far we have one sheet and it has the assembly. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to rename this. My next sheet is going to be the exploded view. So at the top where it says sheets one, right next to it is a insert sheet button. I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna insert a new view. So I'm gonna insert a view. And I still wanna actually insert that assembly, uh, but this time under explode position, I'm gonna select that explode that we created and I'm gonna go isometric. I'm gonna let it think and preview and I like what I see. So I'm going to go ahead and left click. Now I do see that with mine, there is a little bit of overlap. I'm going to go fix that in a second and you can see that it'll update. So I got a couple that are overlapping that I need to make sure that I fix. So after I click it down, I'm going to right click and go to show shaded view. Perfect. Next, what we need to do is we need to put in a parts list that will show the individual parts and an exploded view. So uh, to do that, you want to look at the top, you want to go across and you can see that there's all these different little symbols going across. And one of them is called a BOM table, which is called bill of materials. Uh, what this will do is it's going to take kind of all of our parts and it's going to put them in a nice little table for us. And you can see here that there's a few different fixed spots. I'm going to put it right here in this corner, uh, but you can see here I'm, I'm placing it by the upper right hand corner. I can change the selected view to the lower bottom corner and that will allow me to place it right in this corner without any issues. Now, when I place it in there, it's going to update the drawing by taking all of my parts. So once we got that uh, list in, you can see a few things. Uh, description, we're not going to worry about. We can't actually edit it and take that out. But the part number right now is blank. Uh, what we'd like the part number to say is the part name. Uh, we can't actually change that to say part name. So here's how we're going to go about this. Uh, over in your part studio, where you have all of your parts, we have the part names down here and hopefully you change the names. Well, if you right click on each individual one and you go to properties, you can see that for me, the name L block is there. I am just gonna highlight and copy that. And down here under properties, I'm going to paste that under part number. 
I'm going to apply and I'm going to do that for the rest of them. Now that I've done it to each one, I'm going to go back to drawing. And you can see here that it doesn't show up yet. But in the upper left-hand corner, there's this little blue circle or yellow circle with a, an arrow. This will update any information that I've changed in my other parts studios. As I click there, you can see that they show up. Oh, I'm missing one. And I bet, I bet that's the case. So I'm going to go back here. Paste that in there. Let's go back to the drawing and update it, and the case should show up. There it is. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out each part once. So up at the top, there's a thing that looks like a line with a circle and a number in it. That's called a call out. I'm going to select the call out, and for each one, I'm going to just select the part, and I'm going to call it out. Okay. So you can see here that it says number six, there's two of them, and those are the T-blocks. And I'm only going to do the T-block once. I'm going to come grab another corner here, click, click again, that's five. I'll do the case, that's one. I'll do this L-block two. This rectang uh, rectangular block three and four for the square block. So I double check. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, all six parts, and I have my balloon. Now I do need to go back and fix that so they're not overlapping. And I'm going to right click and rename this sheet my exploded. And lastly, I'm going to put in my L block. So I'm going to add a new sheet insert. This time, instead of assembly, I'm going to select insert, go to Part Studio 1 for me, and I'm going to grab my L block. When I grab my L block, it's going to generate something very, very small. So for the view scale, I'm going to change that to 1 to 1. And I'm going to put in a front view first. I'm going to move my cursor up, put in a top view. I'm going to click that front view again, move over to the right, put in a right side view by clicking. And then I'm going to click on the front view again and go up and to the right and put in a isometric. I'm going to hit escape and I just need to change this so it fits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and do two things. I'm going to change the scale so it's one to two. And I'm going to go ahead and shade it. So I'm going to right click show shaded view. Now at this point is where you need to use your dimensioning tools and the dimensioning flow chart to dimension this properly. I will make a separate video on dimensioning this one uh, so it is correct, but attempt it yourself first before watching that next video.